file management on TeamTalk is absolutely important. Uh, the preferred recording file format is a WAV or a WAV file, 24-bit uh, and 96K if possible. And when I say if possible, that of course depends on the recording equipment and of course the amount of media we have available on the recording equipment. The deliverable file, that is the final edited output, uh, must be an MP3 at 128K. iTunes music is typically 128K or lower. For just voice, as low as 64K is fine. Uh, for music, it's better to have a higher uh, uh, bitrate. Uh, so after everything is edited in either Audition, which is what we'll learn in class, or Audacity, which is freely available online, um, you have to export your edited content and you'll export that into the deliverable file of an mp3. Deliverable files will be uploaded to a Google Drive folder for the segment producer to assemble as a final playlist. Let's take a look at what that might look like here. Whoops. Mm -hmm. All right. So in this one here, you can see uh, this was the Teen Talk from uh, last May 6, 2016, and each file is uh, started off with a number. We number them one through however many files we have. In this case, we had nine segments, including songs, and the numbering convention we use is for single-digit numbers, we go 01, 02, 03. That's because... Um, most computers, if you do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it may actually uh, not uh, uh, sort your content correctly. It may actually put the 1, 0 first before the 0, 1, uh, before a just 1. So, uh, and you'll see we have um, uh, a dash or an underscore, and then the name of the file is descriptive in what it is. And so the first one here is Teen Talk Senior 2001 News, and that should have our in, uh, introduction, and it is indeed an MP3 file. Um, and each one is, this is a little bit unique because it is our, our final senior show, so it's a little bit different than normal. Uh, but typically these would have uh, uh, the segment name, so that uh, such as calendar here, sports there, and music uh, there. And then songs will have their actual song names and if we get songs off of iTunes or other places we don't want to change the name. All we will do is add a number uh, because at Radio Free Palmer they have software that can read the metadata and the song name for reporting for royalty purposes and that is something they are required to do. Um, by law. You'll notice number nine here is an M4A song and that's what uh, the file format that iTunes will um, provide in that for file format is just fine because ultimately at Radio Free Palmer they are using basically the iTunes player behind the scenes and it will play M4A uh, content just fine. All songs must be original, non-edited files with the ID tags included. If not original files, like from iTunes, then use Audacity or Audition to add the artist, album, publisher, and date information. KVRF will use this information for automatic reporting for royalty licensing. We will work off the same script on Google Docs. If you need to submit your script, script as a separate file, uh, upload or move the file into the same folder as all the audio. Include names, titles, grade, school of all talent, and include the total time of each segment in the script. We'll take a look at how the script works in the next video.